this tutorial looks at creating feature library parts and um, you can do um, a couple of different ways really. So for this example, um, I've got a um, cutout which is dimension to the edge and um, you can see those dimensions, uh, the sketch is defined. So if I want to re be able to reuse this, um, what I need to do is come up to the feature, right mouse click and go copy, and then um, using your feature library, um, you point it to a folder that you want to store all these features in that you may want to reuse, and you just paste that back in there. So this just highlights what it's picking up as key things that you need to um, reuse this. So you need a reference plane, so the plane that the sketch is going to be placed on, and then the two dimensions to the edges that um, you can potentially use if you want to. So if you go close, um, give it a name, and that creates a separate um, file to store that in. And then if you want to reuse it, you can then just um, come over here drag it into the model. Again, it comes up with the um, required things that you need. So um, if you want it on here, um, you just hover over the plane. Um, obviously, you can see the bottom left corner down here. If I want to rotate that around. Um, I can use the N key. Um, so I can then sort of drop that in up here. And then if I want to, I can then place the um, dimensions. So um, this is going to be sort of the wrong position. So I'll just leave that for this and just go close without finishing off those. And then that places that feature within that face. So then if you come back and um, you sort of double click on here, um, I can click on that dimension and position it to a tab and then define the position so that will be 20 to keep it in line with the other one and then again on this one I can just click on that and drag it to the edge and define how far I want it from that edge like so so that allows you to um, sort of reuse these um, Features that you may um, use time and time again. Um, here's another example. So I've got um, a pattern of four holes um, placed on a PCD and then a borehole here, uh, which again is say, placed on the same plane. So as long as the sketches are on the same planes, um, I can sort of then select both of these and um, copy, paste that in over here, um, because there's no sort of real dimensions here, um, it's able to give me um, that, so then if I went back to my um, library part, I could pull that onto here. And again, what I'm after is, is choosing the planes that I want to place it on and just drop them in there. And then I can come back and edit the dimension or edit the um, sketch. So for this, what I'm after doing is just taking that and repositioning it. And again, this, this could have been done as a single feature and um, had it all interlinked to its, uh, each other. So again, if I just position it over the center, um, we can sort of get that back reasonably quickly. So um, there is a quick um, look at how you can reuse features 
um, multiple parts 